Day one, Solar Blues Surf Academy Finals Day. 20 nervous finalists have come from all over the country for the last heats. Today is Judgment Day and seven winners get to spend the next year of their lives eating, breathing, sleeping and surfing away from parents for the first time. And someone else pays for it. Every grommet's fantasy come to life. And which little grommet won the first heat of the day? Me, Heat Carol, winner. Better get out there and see who's going to join me in the goldfish bowl. Look at that smile. Dean Edgley, edge to us ordinary mortals. Melbourne bread, so his face might be frozen into that angry young rabbit look. Or maybe he inherited it from his dad. What do I know? Ah, Perry Law, the Gold Coast fairy princess. She's clearly got everything a girl could possibly need. Matt from King Island. He told me he surfed the King Island break. Heaviest wave in Oz, so not planning to mess with him. Beck Sanderson. One half of the Sanderson family crew. Local kids made good. Her brother Joe's still to ride, but everyone reckons the final boy's place is as good as his. Okay, all we need now is to find out who gets the final girl's place. Okay, Fiona and Stacy, your heat starts in five minutes. Good luck. Good luck. Hope we get some good waves. <laughs> this place is mine, so stay out of my face. I'm sorry? Oh, no! The fin's gone right through. So use one of your other boards. I don't have another board. Well, if you're going to forfeit, better do it soon. Ugh, no! Problem? Uh, knew things were going too well. I'm from Western Australia. It was a big deal for my family to even get me here, so extra boards are a bit of a luxury. Come on. Can you use one of my short boards? They'll be a bit heavier than yours, but uh, better than nothing. You didn't walk into it, did you? No way. With an inbuilt radar for lying, filthy rotten toads. It's going mental the whole time she was talking. Take it easy on the turns. It won't be as loose as yours. <coughs> Go on, the clocks are ticking. Thank you. I'm fly, by the way. Hey. Matt, right? Yeah. It's such a long way from the action, don't you reckon? Yeah! We're in the meat wagon and we're about to... <laughs> and we're about to oh watch God. the... <laughs> watch the, the last of the girls' finals. Thanks, this is fine. She's pretty good. Yeah, you can say that again, my friend. Yeah, she's coming in as a hot favourite. Solo Blue have been watching her for years. <laughs> now she is pretty good. Say that again, my friend. Yeah! <laughs> Go fly! You gonna be sick, eh? Nah, I get this weird feeling sometimes, like everything's off balance. Usually happens when something not good is going down. You sure I saw seasickness? Stupid <laughs> idiot! Oh, I'm stuffing everything up. Uh, are you okay? You don't understand what's going to happen if I don't win this. Why? What are you doing? Go around her! She's not taking the waves! If you let her block you, you'll run out of time! She got crushed by a board. What do we do?
When are we gonna go? Hang in there, boy! Get her in, quickly! <laughs> it's okay, fly, we've got you. So, what happens now? Does she forfeit? Stacy, I really don't know, okay? Really amazing. What? You're too young to have a heart bypass already. <sighs> yeah, it's okay, I'm her brother. Oh, don't make me smile. You okay? Loose tooth. They want me to have an x-ray. Yeah? Is it hurting? Not really. It's just, I knew things were going too well. Look, maybe they'll let you surf the head again. It's not her fault I picked a bad wave. It's more like my fault for hassling you into it. I'm sorry about your board. I'll get a part-time job when I get back. It might take a while, but I'll replace it. Nah, I hated that board. Fiona, I've spoken to your mum. She told me that you're staying at your auntie's place. She'll ring your auntie and let her know that you're in hospital. I'll call you as soon as it's sorted. She was only on my board because Stacy trashed hers, and she's only on the wave because I hassled her into it. Come on, there's got to be another reheat. Look, Simo, what is going on? Deb, what are you doing here? We have to talk. Look, Heath, I don't know what's going to happen. Deb, I've got to get the last of the boys in the water, or we'll be here till next week. We'll talk later. Simo! Right, you know the drill? Simo! Not now, Deb. Now, Simo, now. Sorry, guys, give me a minute. Deb, what's the problem? You've surfed here every day of your life. You've got it in the bag. I can't believe I'm so nervous. You're already in. You were in since the day you were born. What's going on? Dunno. It doesn't look too friendly, though. Bit of a problem, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to delay the heat for the seventh spot. Oh, hey, I know, I'm sorry. Look, there's nothing I can do about it. We'll resume tomorrow. Beck, can you take the other kids up to the house, introduce them to Jilly? I'll be out there as soon as I can. Great. Don't freak. Yeah, right. It's only one more day. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say. You're already in. Um, I'd better show them up. Yeah, well, guess I'm going home. Just me, or is anyone else thinking about the fact we actually got in? We made it. I don't think it's just you. This is it. Nice little shark. Yeah. Home sweet home for the next 12 months. Yep. Everyone, this is Jilly. Jilly, everyone. Hi, Jilly. Hi. Hello. Well, you can't stand out here like garden gnomes all day. You better go on in and leave your boards by the back door. Hey, nerd kitties. Welcome, kids, from our bosses at Solar Blue. It's like Christmas morning. Santa's come over all for wine. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> I think you'd look better in pink. <laughs> now, I don't want to puncture your joy, but this all comes with responsibilities. Cooking, cleaning, washing, gardening. Who gets which room? Why don't you come and look? Then you'll know what you're fighting over. This way. Thinking about who's going to get the last two bags? Praying, actually. Me too. I cannot believe this decision was made without me. It wasn't made without you. We had a meeting. We sent you two emails and a fax, but I'm beginning to wonder whether you go into the office at all. My job is to train the kids. Now, the last time I looked, they didn't have any office equipment attached to their boards. Oh, wake up, oh. Simo. This misunderstanding is exactly the sort of thing that Solar Blue have been worried about. Oh, funny, I thought that they were worried about producing great surfers. Yes, they are. The last two years, oh. the kids coming oh. out of here haven't been up to scratch. That's why they've sent oh. me here, to try oh. to help you out. 
You're here for good. We're sharing the reins for the next year, whether we like it or not. The cab should be here soon. Do you want to go in and break the news first? Do I have a choice? What are you doing? Oh, I needed to hang out my wet towel and I thought this drain pipe looked dodgy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you better get inside. I've got some news for you. So, because there's been some changes in direction at Solar Blue this year, the changes have sort of filtered down to us. What kind of changes? The heat for the last boys' spot that we postponed today won't be happening at all. Why not? Solar Blue have picked their own candidate this year. A girl from Germany. Germany? There's not even any surf in Germany. Well, there's a bit. This is so not fair. It's not even meant to be a girl this year. It's been an extra girl one year, an extra guy the next, ever since the school started. Beck, I know that. But Solar Blue have changed their minds this year. This is so wrong. I can't believe you let this happen. Look, that'll be them now. Andrew Mitchell, the head of Solar Blue, has flown out with us, so you'll all have the chance to meet him too. Andrew. Hey, mate, how are you? Good. Nice Come in. Now, you all met Deb at the trials. Hi. This is the man responsible for you all being here, Andrew Mitchell. Hi. Welcome. And this is Anna. Hi. OK, guys, I can't stay long, so I just wanted to say well done, work hard, and listen to what these guys have to tell you. I know they look a little prehistoric, but they usually know what they're talking about. And also, take care of Anna. I know a lot of you are away from home too, but she's from a lot further away. So do what you can to help us a little, all right? And uh, guys, try to have some fun, OK? You got some checks for me to sign? Yep. Yeah. Well, let's get Anna settled. How would you feel about helping Edge cook our first dinner tonight? Great. This decision about Anna has ruffled a few feathers. They'll get over it. Well, OK, what about Deb? Look, don't sweat, Deb. You'll really like her in time. Look, if she's a bean counter, can't she just do it from head office? She's more than just a bean counter. She's a personal trainer and she's got a degree in sports psychology. Oh, goody. Hi. Yeah, um, look, I, I know you're insanely busy and it's probably not the thing that you most... It's Heath, right? Yeah. What's your point, Heath? I was just wondering if you had time to think about whether there was going to be a rerun for The Last Girl's Heat. There was an injury. They happened. Yeah, well, it wasn't as simple as that. OK. You got a song to sing? You better start singing, cos I got a cab out the front and the meter's now running. That is quite a feat. I mean, to burn it to the point of being snappable without actually causing a fire. Amazing, really. OK, so it's a little well done. Don't eat it, all right? No one's forcing you to eat it. Sorry, it's not very good. My coach hasn't let me near the kitchen for years. How sad for you. You had a personal surfing coach for years? I'm a kiteboarder. What? You're not actually a surfer? I've been surfing for fun, but the competitions have been in kiteboarding. So did you win any of the comps? Few. So why the change? Solar Blue suggested it. They sponsored me on the kite circuit. They wanted to see if I could cross over to surfing. So when did you find out you were coming here? About six months ago. They had trials in Germany six months ago? There were no trials. Solar Blue just called and offered me the extra place. Heath and Perry are on dishes tonight. Oh, I wanted to see if I could trade. I want to race over the hospital and tell Fly about the retrial. OK. What retrial? I spoke to Andrew and he agreed to let them surf again, since Fly didn't really get a fair deal. <gasps> trade? All right. There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. Don't wanna know. What's up? Your room is annoying you already. <laughs> if that was the only problem, then there wouldn't be a problem. So what is the problem? They gave the last place to some chick from Germany. Some stuff up between Simo and the company. He thought he'd sorted it out, but he hadn't. 
I'm gonna do something about it, though. What? What are you gonna do about it? I'll do something. Dad always said I'd make a good mechanic. Stop it. You've got a visitor. Excellent. I've already rung the train on you, Pat. There's one at ten. You're such an organised young lady. Organised, but uh, too quick by half. What are you doing here? Oh, I was in the neighbourhood. So, how's your mouth? Oh, can't show me. There's nothing to see. I dragged your bleeding bones out of the water. I want to look. Seriously, there's nothing to see, because there's nothing there. Oh, she lost it? The whole tooth? Oh, cool! Come on, please, show us. Oh, I love sporting injuries. Come on, show me. Oh, brilliant. Uh, and Solar Blue are going to pay for the replacement? That's what they said. Yeah? I reckon you get a fat gold one. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, are you going to ask me why I called you too quick? Um, sure. Well, you're not going anywhere yet. They're going to rerun the heat in the morning. Yeah, I reckon it'd be okay to smile. <laughs> or not, depending on how embarrassed you are about that too. <laughs> Sorry, I don't usually... Uh, hug people? Hug strangers. Yeah, uh, me neither. But I'm prepared to overlook it just this once. Until we get to know each other better. <laughs> Right, you. I'm not getting anything right, really. My fault. I can't believe I voluntarily ate another one of those sausages. I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Like, it was a mistake to come here. But I don't know why. Well, I think what's occurred here... All right, I've got a better idea. I'll show you. This is the video that Heath took of Beck and Joe before they cancelled the heat. The winner is Beck Sanderson. <laughs> this guy's next. You won't even have to bother filming the heat because his name's been on the list since he was born. I'm serious. No one really thought I could do it, but my bro here, he's the one to watch. He's got it in the bag. <laughs> I don't get it. What's this got to do with me? That guy Joe, Beck's brother, he didn't get in. Why? They cancelled the heat because the spot had been given to someone else. They didn't tell me it would be taking someone else's place. Joel didn't get in because of me. And Beck's right. I didn't even have to surf for it. I had like 30 seconds of sleep and I feel brilliant. Yeah, me too. You know what the plan for today is? I think it might be just getting settled in. Pinching ourselves to make sure it's real. The usual dream come true kind of stuff. You really didn't think you'd get in? Most of the time I did. But at three o'clock in the morning I'd wake up sure I was going to stuff it up on the day. You? Oh, I thought I had no Morgan chance. I didn't even get my dad to come up with me because I wasn't expecting to have to say goodbye. I had the whole weeping cheese squad for weeks before I left. Yeah, I saw your, your boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend now, I guess. Ex? You know what they say about long-distance relationships. Doesn't anybody care that I'm going without breakfast on my first day away from home? You can have my toast. Hi, Beck. Beck, perhaps we could talk. Mornings aren't good for me. Maybe later. I'll have a shower. It's not her fault, Beck. It's not about Anna at all. It's the system that sucks. Yeah, well, the system doesn't have to share a house with you. Trouble in paradise so soon. You're coming down to watch Fly in the Ray Heat? I'm sure she could use the support. Look, guys, we all work together. We can make sure Fly gets this spot. The new chef looks good. You can hardly tell. It's just temporary till I get back to my own dentist. 
Time to go nail this. Have you uh, arranged a new board or are you planning to walk on water? I borrowed one from the academy. It's just around the back of the tent. Right, I'll get it. Okay? Just get your comp ratio on, otherwise they won't know who the winner is. Hey, Stacy. Same flies board bag? Um, yeah, this must be hers. I thought it was mine, but when I opened it, I realised it wasn't. This is mine. Again, eh? Up the gods now. Oh no. The tilt monitor's back. Something's gonna happen. You think I'm a cuckoo clock, don't you? I tell you what, this thing's never wrong. If I tell you I've got the tilts about you, you stay in bed all day. You are a cuckoo clock, but I think this time you're right. You do? I think flies accidentally on purpose lost a fin. How'd you know? I think I busted Stacy loose in the screw. You'll need a whole new fin and screw. Why don't you just tell Simo? Get her disqualified for tampering. I want to win this properly. Bex board. Her board will be too big. No, but she's got FCS fins. Her center fin should fit. Are you deaf, Beck? I need your help. Or do you only care about fairness when it's family? I didn't see any of you busting your backsides to help Joe. Look, there's nothing we could do about it, Beck. So you think we shouldn't help fly when there's something we can do? Look, what happened to Joe isn't fair. But if fly loses this, then we've got two people who deserve to be here who won't get in. Beck, that'll have to do. She's got 12 minutes left as it is. Make it count, fly. Go, fly! Beck will come around, just give it time. How do you know? You only met her yesterday. You got a point there, Matt. You don't know Beck from a bar of soap, really. I, on the other hand, have an excellent head for these things, and whatever's been off kilter lately is getting sorted out, so, yeah, she'll come around. Got a very strange man at you. Why, thank you. I might be jumping the gun, but if there's any fairness in this world, there's someone who deserves to win this and someone who deserves to lose. Making the final winner of the Solar Blue Finals, Fiona Watson. Yeah! 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 Hey, Beck, I um, spoke to Anna. Told you you'd get over it sooner or later. Why do I get the feeling this is going to be a very long year? <laughs> long and beautiful, Beck. Long and beautiful. Sometimes, as hard as you try, you can't take things back. You can't pull your feet out of your mouth. You can't press the rewind button. Hard as you try, once you've done the bad deed, you've done the bad deed. It'll haunt you for the rest of your days. It'll be there when you go to sleep. It's there when you wake up. It's there when you finish your Weedy Crunch.
Did I say something wrong? We've had an interesting afternoon. Come on, I'll show you your room. And Perry and Beck are in here. This is the girls' bathroom. That's my room. And you're in here. We hope you find your stay with us a comfortable one. That's your bed. Unfortunately, our interesting afternoon has resulted in your roommate doing a runner. I'm sharing a room with a guy. Well, I haven't seen Anna in the nude yet, but she looks all girl to me. A girl? But I thought it was meant to be one more guy. Yeah, it was. The nutshell version, our bosses picked their own candidate from Germany and no one knew to the last minute. But I thought Beck's brother was a sure thing. Yeah, so did he. So did Beck. And so we have a not completely happy household at the moment. And why did Anna do a runner? She did a runner because someone couldn't keep their big trap shut. Someone just couldn't let it go. Someone forgot life didn't have a big fat rewind button. Okay, we're just waiting on Fly. She's on her way. Where's Anna? She's probably ironing her kite. This year is a competition. At the end of the year, the judges vote. Two of you, one guy, one girl, will win a wild card spot onto the World Championship Tour. Ah, uh, Solar Blue, one of the judges? Yeah. So what happens if they suddenly decide they like someone from Switzerland or Brazil? OK. You got a problem? Let's hear it. What happened is not right. Joe missed out because someone in some office somewhere decided to change the rules. If she'd surfed for it like the rest of us, it'd be different, but those other two guys, they weren't even given a chance. All right, I hate to be the one to deliver the reality check here. The Solar Blue are paying for us all to be here. No Solar Blue, no surfer cap. Here's another reality check. The answer to every problem we have this year is going to be some adult telling us to roll over and play nice so we get to keep the money. Back. No, I'm sick of it. Anna Peterson does not deserve to be here. But no one running this place has got the guts to do anything about it. Beck. Anna? What? Is, um... Everything okay? Are you settling in all right? Why wasn't I told someone else would lose their place because of me? Um, it's complicated, Anna. I know you didn't have to compete, but the reality is that you probably would have served well enough to get in anyway. But I didn't have to. And they've got every right to be angry with me. Anna. And I've got every right to be angry too. If only life really did have a rewind button. But it don't. So Anna just took off. How long has she been gone? About long enough for us to start to worry. Yep, give it another hour. I reckon the panic will start to set in. Anyway, you just holler if you need anything. She wasn't joking. Look at all the stuff she's won. Doesn't change anything, does it? What's your problem? It's not like she's gonna be competing against you. What's a notebook for? In case I think of strategy and stuff during the night. Cool. Now we know where to go if we want to find your game plan. <laughs> you a strategy kind of guy? Not last time I checked. The point is, this whole thing stops the school from having a reputation as being the best. Once people know you can buy your way in, us having come here doesn't sound so good. He's worried about our reputation. So considerate. Anna didn't buy her way in. She's the company's golden girl. It's the same thing. She didn't have to surf for it like the rest of us. So what are we going to do? We. House meeting? Guess so. She just looked gutted. Day two, the walkout. I didn't know she was there, all right? I know. I'm just saying I can understand why she walked off. It's not a very nice feeling, being stabbed in the back. Uh, technically speaking, she was there, so uh, she was actually stabbed in the front. She had to find out. She can't run away from it. What if she has run away? She's been leaving out for Jilly. Saying what? We've lost the kiteboard and don't wait up. 
edge. You, Matt and Perry, go to the mall and then to the headland. Heath, Fly and I will go to the beach and the ferry. Cool. Where's the mall? Or the headland? We've only been here for 24 hours too. Great. We have a bunch of tourists for the manhunt. That stretch a bit soft. You all right? New kite water? A little. You want to take one out? I haven't got any money. No one has any today. Take one out. Hmm. If I get a rush of customers, I'll call you back. Hmm. You sure you don't want to take a bigger board? Easier to handle. Hmm. Think I'll manage. Don't even think about it, Matt. I wasn't thinking about me, I was thinking about Anna. Don't think about that either. bad at all. Still can't nail the triple. Neither can 99% of the human race. Where'd you learn? Here and there. Thanks. I needed that. Anytime. Our club kites every weekend. You might want to think about joining. Maybe. Don't know how long I'll be around. Well, you decide to stay, know what to do, yeah? Thanks again. Yeah, I know what to do. To Joe, please. Speaking. Joe Sanderson. Yeah. Maybe she went to the airport. Oh, that's helpful. Come on, Beck. Do you reckon you'd be so fired up if Joe wasn't your brother? Can you put that stupid thing down for five minutes? <sighs> OK, I'm not trying to be smart, but you're always talking about principle. Do you think you'd really care if it was Bob from down the road or any of us? Anyone I'm just interested in whether we only really care when it's personal. Look, maybe Joe being my brother does make a difference, but what would you have done? Mm. I don't know, Beck. Do Look, there's nothing wrong with loyalty. But do you have to trash someone else along the way? You don't. Anna, are you all right? Fine, thank you. I've got an apology to make. None of this was meant to be personal. I still don't think it's fair, but I shouldn't have taken it out on you. Beck, it's OK. I don't need your sympathy or anyone else's. I'm going to surf for my place here. How? I talked to Joe tonight. We're going to surf tomorrow. If he's better than me, I'm leaving. You're kidding? No. 
I just need someone to show me where this break is. What break? Somewhere called the gallows. OK, you lot. Time to hit the pillows. We have a curfew? That's right. Half an hour ago. Uh. <sighs> Believe me, once training starts, you'll be begging for bed. Come on. Move it. So boring. You can have the bottom shelf fly because you're the shortest. Plenty of shell people at the top of their field. Huh. Yeah, those seven dwarves really rocked. What? I'm not saying fly's a dwarf. I'm... It's a wonder I can even talk with both these feet in my mouth. Will someone tell me how to get to the gallows tomorrow? Beck, you're the local. Ah, uh, it's a completely dumb idea. Don't worry, I'll find it myself. going to be an interesting year. I could sleep till January. They hadn't given me this concrete slab instead of a bed. Earth to Beck. Is your bed like a rock? I don't know. Try mine. If you want to swap, just change the sheets. Beck, where are you going? Uh, Beck? Won't be long. An interesting year, all right. We have an SKP. No. Oh. Beck, maybe she's going to get pizza, because, frankly, the cooking skills in this group were a bit of a disappointment. I think she's probably got bigger things on her mind than her stomach. So has anyone heard of the gallows? I have. Beg yours, Mr. Pillowhead? I met a guy at the juniors last year. He reckoned he almost got necked out there. At the gallows? That's where I've seen you before. We were in a heat together at Margaret River. You remember? You didn't beat me. Edge only has space in the hard drive for genuine rivals. Something like that. Yeah? We'll make space on that hard drive, man, because your butt is history. Edge, you know, throw it back. Kind of need my pillow. It's too predictable, man. Tonight, your pillow is mine. <sighs> Ow, damn it. What are you doing in here? This is my room now. What happened to all my stuff? Put it in the garage. You don't live here anymore, Beck. I can't believe you suggested the gallows. Yeah, well, believe it. But she's got no chance of winning and plenty of chances to get herself seriously hurt. Well, if she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't have to do it. You know, she can pull out. No one's got a gun to her head. Not literally. But she knows if she doesn't do something to prove herself that people, some people, We'll hold it against her for the whole year. It's not my problem. And it's not yours either. I thought you were on my side. I am. I just... I wish that there was another way. It was her idea, Beck. Now, why don't you go and wake her up if you've got your knickers in such a knot about it? Go out the same way you came, because Ben's in the front room now, and if you go out that door, you'll wake him up. Think anyone else got up this early? Came back last night. Just couldn't make that last step in a bed. Thinking about the Joe thing. He knows that break backwards. He knows how to survive it. If I just sit back and watch, then Joe will win and he'll get his place here, which is what I want. But it's not exactly a fair fight. Can I have the milk? What's your alternative? Started thinking I could tell Deb and Simo, and then they'll make sure it doesn't happen. But spoon. You could have had the bowl, too. No need. So, you dob, 
And then Anna doesn't get the chance to prove herself. So I'm disloyal to my family, or I'm disloyal to Anna, who I don't know from a bar of soap. Don't know from a bar of soap yet. A year's a long time. You've got to figure out a way to give everyone what they want. Why is it my job to work it out? Because you give it to us. This whole thing would be a piece of cake if you didn't care either way. But I'm guessing you do. Which is kind of cool. It's complicated, but cool. Yeah, me, on the other hand, I've got it much easier, you mean? I don't care about anyone except myself. I don't give a rats. Yeah. Right, which is why you're sitting here helping me work out what to do. Because you don't care about anyone else. Momentary lapse. I just wanted the cereal. I don't know if you understand how deadly the gallows really are. Joe's been surfing it for years. He knows how not to get hurt. I know, but there's no other way, is there? And if you don't mind, I'd like to get another hour of sleep before I go to my death. If you're going to do this, then you have to prepare. And I'm the only one that can help you. Who belongs to all this? Fräulein Peterson. There must be three boards in here at least. All right, so she's got generous sponsors. Or somebody sending her body parts. These are definitely boards. No risk. Hi, guys. Beck, it's nuts, you know that. It's not up to her. And it's not about Joel getting in either. I'm not giving him my place. I'm either earning mine or I'm not. So do Deb or Simo get to know about this? They're part of the reason I'm in this position in the first place. This is so cool. Whoa. Definitely not body parts. Are we going? You guys coming or what? If this is going to be fair, I can't be the only judge. Morning, all. Where are you off to? Oh, Bex is taking us on the local tour. You know, showing us all the good breaks. Oh, really? No, not really. I'm going to surf against Joe at the gallows. If he's better than me, I'm leaving. That's insane. Anna? Solar Blue won't stand for that. They've spent a lot of money bringing you here. They believe in you. You can't just walk away. Did any of you even ask me if I wanted to come? She hasn't won a kiteboard comp in 12 months. Quick, let's push her into something else, see if we can produce a winner there. As long as the winds keep coming, no one really cares about anything else, right? That's what Solar Blue are paying for. I thought she loved surfing. I do. And I do want to be here. But I have to live with these people. If I stay, I have to wake up and know I deserve it. Deb. Phone for you, Andrew Mitchell. We're not done. Hey, you lot. Hey, hi. What are you lot up to? Just getting to know each other. Good day. Stands up lightning quick, so you've got to take off deep inside and tuck in. Oh, and there's a savage rock ledge, so the best plan is not to get caught, if you can possibly help it. Sorry, but it's stuff you need to know. You've got to sit wide and wait for the sets. That's where you get the best barrels. Oh, and uh, once you pick your wave, don't hesitate, because hesitation will lead to pain. Yeah, got that bit. Why are you doing this? Joe shouldn't get an advantage just because he's got local knowledge and you haven't. Good luck. It didn't take you long to change sides. I didn't change sides. I still think it's unfair and it shouldn't have happened, but it's got to be an even competition. You know that. Great, so I'll talk to you in a couple of days. OK, thanks, Andrew. Bye. Are the guys still out there? No, they're on a bonding session. Oh, no. Which I thought you would have been happy about, given Anna's rocky start. They're not on a bonding session, Simo. They've organised their own heat between Joe and Anna. Well, if they need to see Anna hold her own, let them see it. At the gallows. 
on that. Back of the sweaty palms? Guess so. Anyone would think you were out there. Kinda am. Thanks for this morning. Really helped me get my head straightened out. Is it still feeling straight? Not really. But at least I know when I wake up tomorrow, I'll have tried to do the right thing. I'm not going to someone's funeral, that is. <laughs> Guy's got style. Man of losers, they could rethink our positions. We could be in trouble. You guys might be. <laughs> Not good. This is so not good. Maybe we should do something to stop it. I don't think it's up to us. Day three. The real judgment day. You ready to call it a day? I'm heading in, if that's what you mean. Go for it. She's taking it on. Oh. Oh. So I think I was saying something about keeping our noses out of it. Letting Anna prove herself. Use the words I told you so and you can walk back to the academy. Wouldn't dream of it. I think you just earned your place. Awesome. Yeah, good one, Beck. Now we have to compete with that. Ah, <laughs> uh, Beck, Joe's not about to end it all, is he? Nah, he's paddling around the headlands so he can come in through the channel. I guess he knows he can't compete with that either. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That was so good, yeah! There's too much choice and not enough Training day one has just begun. Day one of the next year of our lives. It begins with the soft sand jog. Good for lactic acid tolerance in your large muscle groups. The quads, hams and the glute max. Helps you hold it steady down the tube. Followed with hard sand sprints. Promotes fast twitch muscle fibres, speeds up reflexes and response times, gets you up on your board faster, and burns off excess hamburgers. Go! After this, let's hope we get to hit the impact zone. Okay, nice start everyone. Now we're going to split into two groups. Beauties go with Deb, beasts stay with me on the beach. Tomorrow, beasts go with Deb, beauties come with me. We see a pattern forming? Six days a week Good. for the next on, 40 fellas. weeks. Stay. 
Not a bad life, huh? Two hours of this before and after school every day. It doesn't get any better. Come in. Okay, great work, everyone. Let's get moving. First day of school's waiting. That's right, school. If you don't make it as a surfer, and some of us won't, you have to have something to fall back on. This girl is awful. You can't be serious about this. He looks fine. Oh, that's not too bad. But why do we have to wear these things? Democracy in action. If we look equal, we are equal. Hmm. Equally awful. Well, at least you don't have to think about what to wear in the morning. Yeah, I tried telling that to Perry. Something wrong? That's a very interesting version of the school uniform, Perry. It's just a few minor adjustments. Beck said they weren't that strict. Is that true, Beck? Yeah, sort of. Which means it's crucial to make a good first impression. Yeah. Hey, they've already gone in. Yeah, ten minutes ago. Yeah. Great, so the first impression we give is a bunch of surf bums. So up ourselves, we think we can get away with being late on day one. Toilets are that way. Canteen. Over there. Go up here and we miss the front office and the exterminator. The who? The principal. Get on his wrong side and your history. Trust me, we do not want to run into you. Mr. Exeter. Finally, the Surf Academy team. Follow me. This could be some sort of record. Expel before we're even enrolled. I'm sorry, Mr. Exeter. It's just it's their first day and... We didn't know where to go. And... Oh, well, I did. It's just that they had no... What's way... ten minutes lateness? I saw the swell out there this morning. I trust all the training will pay off big time, eh, Beck? Remember, we're counting on you. I don't believe it. It was actually nice to us. <laughs> there are a total of ten pages. Make sure you have them all. Rebecca, we'll save all other intros at this late stage. Oh, I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to be sick. Now, where am I kind of... Yeah. If you'll all kindly find a seat while I continue detailing the term's assignments. Biotechnology and genealogy? I haven't covered that. Oh, man, oh, man. What am I doing here? To make it work at a new school, there's two sets of people you've got to win over. The professors... All right. ..and the punters. Without them on your side, life can be hell. Well, I can see we're not going to get very far with the business of learning until we've addressed the burning issue of the week. Right, Joe? Oh, I think it's best we do it now, sir. Well, I'm going to take a walk down to the storeroom to get those extra books. That give you enough time? Yeah, it should do. No way, Beck, you were with this mob for two days and you forgot to tell them? Well, Simo's had us doing so much training, Such it's not Such a like surf academy suck-up now, Beck. Oh, give her a break, Jarvi. Beck's still cool. Yeah, thanks, Blair. You know, you lot get all the special treatment this year. We ask for only one thing. Will someone tell us what the hell's going on here? Yeah. What do you want us to do? Uh, the inter-school surf comp this weekend. They need a team to defend the cup. It's assumed we'll rep with the school team and win. We've only had it for ten years. It'd be pretty lame if the school of Surf Academy lost it. It's the least we could do. Yeah. Why wouldn't we? They're just school kids. We're kind of. Yeah, well, you better. It's the only reason why we put up with you guys around here. Great. I'll line my bikini then. Sounds good. Let's start sorting out the team. OK, folks, gather round for the good oil. Amazing. For a first day of school, this is about as good as it gets. Hey, it worked out this morning, right? Splitting the groups, I mean. Yeah, it did. So, can we go through your schedule for the afternoon sessions? You're planning on coming along? Yeah, sometimes. Does that bother you? Nope. That's fine. Uh, where can I put all this? 
Yeah, I suppose you'll need somewhere to work. Yeah, that'd be good. Thanks. Somewhere you can file your reports on my progress. Here, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, clear your spot. Here you go. No wonder you never got my emails. Yeah, no. Carked it a few months ago. Well, we can get someone in to fix it for you. No, get along fine without it. That's no trouble. Actually, I think I'm going to need a desk in here. Do you mind if I move things around? Sure, whatever you need. Quiet, please. And Joe, as team captain, you should be mid back row. Has everyone signed the entry form? Yep. yep. Excellent. Now, all the names are on the list. Miss Lane can fax it in. And you'll be officially in the program as the Blue Water High senior surfing team. Banner up and smile. How easy was that? Surf in a school this Saturday, hammer the opposition, the school stayed to have us. Get out of jail free card for the whole year. <laughs> And don't you just love the photo? Oh, that's Have you nice. heard about the two parties this weekend? You got invites already? Yeah. I wonder what the deal is with going out on a Saturday night. Hey, Bert, your brother's been nice to me. Friendly, even. Hope it lasts. Three assignments and a novel by the end of the week. Yeah, whatever happened to that first week bludge? I still can't believe none of us got our heads flushed. Oh, relax. Look, the school is stoked to have us. Yeah, right. I really think it might all be OK. And it gets better. Not only is Solar Blue throwing you guys a party, but you also get a chance to meet some of the pro surfers that we sponsor before they fly to Hawaii. Great. Nice. And all this is to celebrate us signing our contracts. That's right. Official invitations with your names and photos on them. Oh, let's see. Cool. Wow. Hang on, Deb. We can't do this on Saturday. The Times clash the school surf comp. You're not taking part in that. You're kidding. We have to. We're already entered in the program. Then we'll withdraw you. Oh, Deb, Whoa. you can't. Come yes, we can. On. You guys are in the spotlight here. How would it look if you got beaten in some little regional comp by a bunch of school kids? Yeah, but we're school kids too, aren't we? You're potential champions. You're given clothes and equipment and entry fees by Solar Blue. Which means they own us. Which means they stand by you in tough times and injury. Right, Anna? But not if you risk yourself in some comp full of kamikaze wannabe surfers who barely know the rules. Come on. We surf every day. Yeah, we're used to looking after ourselves out there. Not on Saturday, you don't. Deb, you don't understand. I'm I understand that there are plenty of other major surf events for you to focus on for the rest of the year. Forget the school comp. It's not negotiable. realise the school won't win without at least some of us on the team. We're a way higher standard than the other kids. Apart from Joe. Dark, light and too dastardly to mention. Maybe Deb's got a point. Maybe we shouldn't be wasting ourselves on schooly stuff. Well, that sort of attitude's going to buy us a lot of friends. But we're not here for friends. Speak for yourself. My brother's surf captain and he's relying on us. Ah, uh, he... Blue jeans normally fit the dark description. So... You tell Joe there's nothing we can do about it. That we've got no choice. We don't have a choice. That's bull. They can't stop you from surfing. Well, they have. Joe, it's not our fault. Well, if all of you pull out now, you know we have no chance. Yeah, we tried, but they won't let us. Yeah, we couldn't have tried very hard. I don't uh -huh. see the big deal anyway. Just surf it yourselves. What are you? Pussies. Joe, oh, stop hey, that! Hey, hey, that's enough! That's enough! Principal's office. Now. Right, the rest of you, sit. Books on the floor, one pen only on the desk. This is a test. This will determine what stream you put into. Papers to me before you leave. Say hello to 
you do that for? I didn't do anything. You did it on purpose. Paranoid freak. No, that's enough, Javi. Get your next class. First attention of the year. What record. <laughs> First test I stuff up in my life. Ah, oh, who gives about a stupid test? Who gives about this stupid school? I give, Edge. I don't want to muck this year up. Hey, Emma! What? What's the matter with them? I think we get the point. It's like this. We have to live a double life this year. One life for solar blue, and the other our normal school life. And by not surfing for the school this weekend, we're saying that our school life comes second. Yeah, that's good. Just say exactly that. In the case of the people versus Deben Simone, for the people is Matthew Leyland. I put our case forward. If I get it right, it might be all it takes. He can kill at ten paces with one lash of his tongue. The words sweet talk, Heath, not hitman. <laughs> Let me practice. I'm only going to get one shot at this. Good luck. Hi, Simo. You got a minute? Save it, Matt. There's no point. But I think that... Mate, we... I've just got off the phone to your headmaster. I don't want to have an argument with you lot, too. I see, but... Can Look, I... go and tell everyone they're just going to have to roll with the punches on this one, OK? OK, but... If because you... that's what I have to do, too. How'd you go? Didn't even get in the door. What? Your seat taken? No. I think the show's over. I'll just sit here till the next session then. You know, the ancient Egyptians used to make rafts and escape across the sea. Yeah, that's an option. We can stow away to Tahiti, become professional surf bums. Or we could figure out a way a couple of us could be in two places at once. You mean surf the school comp and make the welcome party on Saturday? Yeah. Now you're talking. So if two of us surf, is that enough? It's enough if you both win. We'll win. OK, which two? You pick. So Beck and I are going to serve for the school on Saturday. It's up to everyone else to sweet talk the solar blue people so they don't notice when we disappear. What if some of us are no good at sweet talking? Oh, it's OK, Bly. What are your shit for you? OK, the senior girls heats are at one and the guys are straight after. Cool, we'll leave our boards with you. Just make sure no other students or teachers find out what we're planning. OK, fair enough. Is it really worth it, Matt? If you get caught, This team, our Surf Academy students, Dean, Matthew, Heath, Perry, Rebecca, Fiona and Anna, standing here before me. Now, we're not only signing their talent, but also their integrity and hard work. And obviously, we're signing their commitment as young Solar Blue representatives. Come on, come on, I've got four minutes to go. What's this? Uh, Blue and Ohio had to make some last minute team changes. Cutting a fine, aren't you? OK, so why don't we spark up that barbecue? And later on, I'll meet with all of you individually and we'll sign those contracts. <laughs> OK, Beck, go. Beck! Come over and meet Louise Castle. Now what do we do, Matt? Perry, what are you doing? Where's Beck? She couldn't leave. You've got me instead. I'll do my best. Let's go.
suddenly this whole thing's gone pear-shaped. How are we going to keep all this under control and try to win a surf comp? I was crazy even to suggest it. Harry was right. Hey guys, guys, I'm sorry, but both teams were penalised. But I had the wave. She obstructed me. The ASA rules don't... I don't follow the ASA rules in school comps. That's crazy. I'm sorry, but... <sighs> don't mind the mess, Andrew. Oh, this is fine. Right, Heath? Yeah, real. Home beautiful, Simo. Best keep it low-key, Heath. This is a legal contract you're signing here. Maybe there's an outside chance we can still pull this off. Edge is keeping Mr. Solar Blue happy, and if everything keeps ticking along fine, Perry should be back at any moment. Congratulations, Edge. Disaster, Matt! They disqualified us with some stupid Redmond high chick smashed into me. They're not counting your score. No. Hey, Matt, the head on show said to tell you to go in. But you can't, your heat's about to start. Go, go, we'll cover for you. <laughs> If we all keep calm, we'll be fine. Hey, uh, have you got a hairdryer? That wet looks a dead giveaway. Oh, no. Okay, Matt, just focus. One good serve and we'll be set for the year. Dead heat for first. We're in the final. Great guys, I've got to go. No, you can't because the highest individual scorer gets into the final. But I can't. You have to wait because it could be you. Woohoo! I'm officially in, guys. Okay, Perry, your turn. Okay. You guys seen Matt? He's up next. <laughs> okay, girls. Fix we need to wrap this up shortly. Yeah, no problems. We'll push the last two three quickly, all right? Sure. Hey, can you find Matt? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Will the following please come to the marching area for the final? For North Beach High, Matt. James McCullum. Matt, you gotta get back now. They're leaving in 20 minutes. Blue Water High, Matthew Baylor. No, you can't do it. Why? No, he has to do it. Decision time. Surf the finals to avoid the school year from hell or back to the boarding house to sign my new contract. What a choice. I'll make it back. Matt. Matt. Matt, we have to get back. Matt. Yeah, it's a cushy life. Get paid to hey go guys. surfing. Sorry, Luke, can I borrow the girls? Yeah, no problems. I've got a split to catch a plane anyway. Very clever. Did you think I wouldn't notice Perry's wet hair and Matt skiving off? You've all been dodging about so that she and Matt could surf the school comp. After we told you not to. But hey, you know better than the coaches, right? So, did you win? Hmm? What about you, Perry? The girls were disqualified, Mr Mitchell. And the open boys, well, we still don't know. Great. So one of our stars gets pummeled by a bunch of ordinary school kids. Where's the other one? Where's Matt? Oh, he'll be here in like a, a minute. Oh, forget it. We've got a plane to catch. If his contract means so little to him... Andrew, give him a minute, mate. Hey, here he is. Matt. Oh, no. That feeling in your guts when you know you've really stuffed up. 
You got five minutes to convince me why we should even bother keeping you. Come on. Did we win? I couldn't stay to find out. You know, we spend tens of thousands on you guys. Accommodation, travel, coaching, fees. And it's not as if we're asking a lot in return. Yeah. Uh, no. So? So? So what do I say to get out of this one? <sighs> and they told me you were the articulate one, Matt. The really bright one. Yeah, well, I'm bright enough to know that we shouldn't have to choose between surfing and school. Not at this age, anyway. School would have been hell for us if we hadn't done that comp. You know, training, surfing, school. You know, it's harder to balance all that than balance on skinny bits of fiberglass out on a wave. But I thought you'd know that better than anyone, Mr. Mitchell. You were doing part-time business studies while you were a pro surfer. That's how you got to start Solar Blue, wasn't it? Been doing your homework on me. I always do my homework. You know, it, it was a big decision for me to come here. I wanted it more than anything, but I wasn't going to stuff up school for it. But you didn't mind the risk of losing your contract? No, I wasn't going to lose either one. OK, Matt. Let's get this contract signed. I've got a plane to catch. Out on the waves, you've got to make your own decisions. You can't have your coach or your parents beside you. Sometimes, those decisions are bad. Sometimes, they all work out OK. Slow, big or small. Even waves like this one. Gotcha! See that? She's carving it up. Why is it always little fly? Fly, midget, flea, kittywink. Oh, why don't people take me seriously? Hey, fly! You got a message to call home. Fly, right now. It's urgent. Anyone at home? Mum? Dad? You said urgent. Is anyone hurt? Is everything okay? Please call. I'll be right at the phone. Bye. See you later. Where are you going? My sister's wedding this weekend. Oh, yeah, right. You're going home. Yeah, so don't get into any trouble while I'm away, huh? Come on. Come on. 
Come on. See you in three days. Have fun. Yeah, I'll do my best. Where's Fly? Inside. Her family called. Huh. Okay, I'll see you all in 30 minutes. Just so you know what Deb's about to tell you, I had nothing to do with. Or yours. Great. Thanks, you know. Righto then. Gorgeous beaches, all the surf you want, out of school for lunch and study periods for training. Pretty privileged life, right? Well, somebody's got to live it. The Solar Blue also feel it's important for you to have some balance in your life, to be part of the community here. By more socialising, maybe. By doing some community service. Oh. What? Oh, no. About 80 hours throughout the um, 80 hours? When are we supposed to do that? Deb, we're already pushed beyond. Uh, I mean, surfing, training, chores, schools, homework. I thought we are here to surf. Yeah, you are. You're also here to learn how to be part of a team and to give something back to the community that supports you. So, read up. It'll be fine. I've done community stuff at my old school. Some of the suggestions might be cool. Maybe, like, helping at the National Park. Sure. We got a free slot between midnight and four. Midnight and four? But that's your snoring practice time, Edge. Watch it. <laughs> we should check on Fly. Uh, Edge, I maybe know how you and I can do this community service and get some extra training. Yeah? How? I'm a local. I've got contacts. We put your board away. You know they took my name off the message machine at home? Well, duh. That's because you're not there, are you? No. I'm not. While we're on the subject of phone messages... On the left, guys who are likely to call me. On the right, messages you have to give them. Uh, why are we your personal answering service? Can't they just call you mobile? I've given this number to people I'm not sure I really want to talk to. So why give it out? To keep my options open. <laughs> Now, if Jason rings, I'm home. Mark Fisher, I'm out. Derek's like, Frico, I've left the country. Just follow the chart, please. When we got a big south east for a run, these races just maxed out. Oh, oh! Maybe they've had a bushfire. How long did you leave it in for? Like what you said to do. Right. I did that. Yeah. Two hours, right? Don't go anorexic on us, Beck. Julie, I just picked out at lunch, that's all. Well, Edge reckoned we could cook the roast in half the time at twice temperature. <laughs> Hello? Oh, uh, this is Anna's grandmother, uh, Großmutter. <laughs> Thanks, Fly. Well, Fly, why don't you take a break and we'll call you when they ring. Fly, I've got four mobiles. You can have one of those if you like. As soon as I get him working. Oh, thanks, Edge. No probs, kiddo. Kiddo? Okay. Juice. Oh, you get a silver medal for sloppiness, Edge. Try sharing a room with you. Joey. Oh. A message came through the voicemail for Fly. Hepatitis? That's serious. Glandular fever and suspected hepatitis. Poor Nell, and she's doing her final exams. I better call them back. The message said to wait. They won't get the test results for the hepatitis until nine tonight. They said they'd call you after that. I hate this three hour time difference to West Australia. Now, Fly, you are not going to camp out underneath the phone all night. Yeah. It's cheap rates at night. Call them anytime you like. That's a great idea, Anna. Thanks, Anna. Here's the telephone number of the hospital. 
In the meantime, sit tight and try and get some sleep. This is Fiona, Nell Watson's sister. I heard she's in Ward 7. I was wondering how... Yeah. I'd love to speak to her if I'm allowed. Thanks. Nell! Oh, I've been so worried. No. Going home tomorrow? But... That's great. Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cause. I love it here. Sure. Uh, school's, um, good. Uh, everything's cool. The other kids, <laughs> they're awesome. There's Edge, cool guy, wicked freestyler. Beck's a local, knows everyone and everything around here. Perry's totally hot. She's even been in magazines. That's a brainiac. He knows heaps more than most teachers. He's really fun. He's part Maori. His mum's from New Zealand. He's like a professional surf film director. Yeah. Anna's my roommate. She's a champion kiteboarder from Germany. Travels everywhere. She's pretty famous. And <laughs> then there's me, you know. Youngest. Smallest. Maybe I should come home for a bit. Why are you sick? Mm, no, suppose not. Yeah, uh, I'd better let you get some sleep too. It was uh, great talking to you, Nelly. Miss you. Night. On hold. On hold. Why? Your sister okay? Um, yep, great. Uh, no hepatitis going home today. That's a relief, isn't it? <sighs> I'll charge the battery. Uh, here. Bathroom's free. If you want to get in ahead of Perry. Why? Um, no, no, you go. Thanks, I won't be long. We've got enough lifesavers for now, Beck. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, it's it's fine. I understand, really. Um, thank you for trying. Yep. Maybe next year. My family's skint, and I run up a bill of two hundred and seventy-four dollars. Such a kid. Time. Community service yet? No, not yet. I'm gonna try the surf life saving club. Forget it, Perry. The life savers thing we surf school kids are full of ourselves. Won't commit or work hard for anything but surfing. Bet I can talk my way in. Fine. What would I know? Time. Fine. She'll fall flat on her face if she even tries. Fly, one leg up. No, I can do it. Ugh. Hi, um, the job you advertise, is that still? Oh, okay then. <sighs> Thanks. Can't see you hosting a crowd of drink bottles, kid. Sorry. Here you go. 
right. Excuse me. Can you tell me where the manager is? Why? I was wondering if that job you advertised was still going. The one in the paper? I don't think so, love. Sorry. We need someone who can actually, you know, pick things up. Ugh. You know, I've spent my whole life on a dairy farm. Oh. Milking, herding, hauling, rain, mucking out sheds. I sold fruit and veg at the local market since I was five years old. And handled the cash. I can drive a tractor, fix a baler, and work in a flood. So being something like a checkout chick at a service station would be a piece of pie. <laughs> I mean, cake. But you've never hauled a heifer out of a dam? Uh, no. No, we don't get a lot of heifers around here. I am the manager here, and uh, I do have a job you might be interested in. Summer days lying back in the shade, a cool drink of lemonade, doing nothing all day. Summer days and the yummy displays, mangoes, nectarines, apricots and grapes. Summer days and the boring girl games, and the long hard nights to make you want to miss Hi, boys. You must be Perry. Casey Holdsworth. Hi. Hi. Yes. You know, we've got three assignments this weekend. Well, forget about the cooking. That's all taken care of. Great. And now my community service is sorted. What? Already? Where'd you volunteer? The abattoir? The Surf Life Saving Club? Bex got me and her in as members. Just you and Edge? Um, not exactly. They wouldn't take us. But you're a local. You've got contacts. Embarrassing, huh? Sorry. OK, everyone. Guess what we are? What? Members of the Blue Water Surf Life Saving Club. I got us in. All of us? Yep. Told you I could talk them into it, Beck. stuff off Mum's dishes and onto Jilly's plates. You smell so good, Ben. <laughs> Mum says you've got to give us more notice next time. And just how much notice does Mum need, Ben? I've got uni tonight, so you get the short version right act, which is realise you've all left home. There are no parents here to pick up after you, no meals on wheels, and no laundry service from Mum. I know you're competing, but you all have to look out for each other. Cause for this year, get used to it. We're all each other's family. Does anybody want to say anything? You're not really going to throw out Beck's mum's pies, are you? <laughs> not if you save me some. <laughs> Hello? Can't you hear? Nein? Hi there. Where have you been? Nowhere. I let Julie know you were doing community service. Huh. I'm trying to video phone on the internet to Germany, but this stupid thing keeps crashing. You're so far away from home, Anna. Different language and customs and stuff. You don't act homesick. I miss things. Good black bread. <laughs> really. German TV. My school, my friends, mum and dad. What happened to using the lifeboat? And sitting in the tower, meeting all the hotties. Our first Saturday off since we get here, Heath gets to go to a party, and we're doing this here instead of surfing out there. Okay, 
Obviously, we've got to prove ourselves to begin with. Made it in after all, hey, Beck. I wasn't playing favourites. Perry suggested that I give you all a go. On probation. Better get on with it. The juniors will need this area for training pretty soon. Great. So, uh, you talked him into giving us cruddy jobs on probation, hey, Perry? Wow, what a negotiator. At least we got our foot in the door. I don't know what flies community service is, but it has to be better than this. Money you find is mine, all right? It's full sand, so it needs to be. Interiors? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll be back to pick it up around three. Okay. Three? Oh, three. All right, this lady wants a full interior clean, okay? Hey, I pressed start. You should be in there. Baby fly, Watson. A real pathetic baby. Oh, I've ruined everything. Saturday's the busiest day for the car wash, and they can't get it fixed till Monday. I just want to go home. See Nell and the others, and the farm. You want to leave? Oh, I don't fit in here. You don't fit in here. What about me, a German kiteboarder? Yeah, but you can handle it. Everyone respects you. I'm just like some annoying flea at their backsides. You're having a tough time, Fly, but tough times happen anywhere. Different when you're home. I have an idea. What? I'll be back to get you. Don't leave town. You hear that? Can you believe it? Two hours collecting garbage. I now have such balance in my life. Okay. At least we got the rest of the day off. Guys, I need your help. As you can tell, it's not all. What's going on? We're doing a geography check. Now here's you, 3,314 kilometres away from Margaret River, West Oz. And there's Heath. Lucky Devil's back home right now, 598.4 kilometres away in Ballina. And Perry? Gold Coast, 684.8 kilometres. Mm -hmm. And Edge? Melbourne, 715 k's. That's wrong. It's 713. You can change it, OK? There's me down at King Island, and then there's Anna's home. 16,300 k's away in Hamburg. Am I going to get a sign? You're two blocks away. <laughs> I still want a sign. <laughs> the point is, we are all away from home, some of us further than others. And we may not be your sisters, Kate, Nell, or Josie. Or Liz. Or Jen, but we're going to be the Ersatzspieler. Understudies. Mm. Substitutes. <laughs> we're your substitute family. Oh, this is too embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as us picking up garbage with little yellow rubber gloves. Come on, you guys always know how to handle things. You don't stuff everything up. They stuff up all the time. Speak for yourself. So you cost the car wash some money and you're in the pool with Deb, right? I just want to disappear. You know, I've got an idea how we can fix this and call it community service at the same time. Whatever it is, no. But it's good. Hear me out. Back it up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop there. Good morning, madame. Good morning. We're hand washing cars here this morning with half the proceeds going to the Blue Water Surf Life Setting Club's annual appeal. Oh, Mark. Part of our community um, service program. All right, program. Dad. Well, look, can you just get your hands on as many as possible and bring them down? Yeah, yeah, that'd be really good. Okay. 
Right, Dad's bringing all the cars from the car lot and I've got all the kids I know from school putting pressure on their parents to come too. I reckon you're going to clean up here today, mate. Oh, looking great, guys. Doing a good job. All right, ready for the next. Why? Uh, you should learn to worry less. Besides, they're my old ones. <laughs> <laughs> $182.40 in tips. No, it's for all of us. We voted. It goes towards the debt for the damage. And the rest of this mystery debt, pay me back when you turn pro surf, OK? How'd you find out? Did you just text me the bill? Thank you. Right, don't fly it. That's enough. Everyone come and get a cold drink. Great. Thanks. OK, OK. I've got some good news and I've got some even better news. You guys did a fantastic job raising money for the club today. Oh, yeah, one of my best days ever. <laughs> so, we're waiving probation. You guys are now fully fledged members of the Surf Life Saving Club. Yes! 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 So, um, what's the even better news? George is letting you guys do a car washathon for the club every month. What? Oh. Nah, we did too good a job. We should have stuffed it up. No way. I've done enough stuffing up for life. <laughs> I guess there's always got to be someone who's the baby of the family. And because I'm the smallest and the youngest, I guess that's me. But I can still get the biggest waves and the fastest waves. And even waves like this one. Gotcha.